Welcome to the official ceremony for the Football Manager Puskas Award. I'm your host, Zeeland, and of course this forehead is all natural. As for the pomp and circumstance of this incredible award, I sent out a tweet asking for your best goals that you scored this year and got back a truly otherworldly number of submissions. But because this award is very important to me and the entire award committee, which are all of the other voices inside my head, I sat here and watched every single one of those submissions. We've created a top 20, we've created a top five, and we've crowned our winner who will be receiving a small trophy in the mail. But let's begin with the top 20. Here is a Twitter account literally titled FM Wonder Goals, and I have to say, this is a goal I've never seen before. Oh, dude! I did not even know this animation was in the game. Are you kidding me? Childish impudence. I don't even know if I'm using that word right, but it sounds right. Next up, making our semi-finalist list, Milan Zhang's submission. Uruguay against Ghana. It j just absolute psycho play to have all the names on. Surely not. Oh, oh, that's like the best folly I've ever seen. Oh, he takes it out of the air. It is so high in the air. I've never seen this. In FM. That is outrageous. Stop, stop that right now. Our third semi-finalist submission from Shafak Demir, this guy is listening to an NBA game in the background. We're not going to be able to play the audio for you, but while he's recording this, there is an NBA game going on in the background. Oh! For some reason, this one looks even more chilled than the other one. This is just a toss of the heel. Like, I didn't know that animation was in the game. That is such a nasty goal. Of our 15 semi-finalists next, we have a goal from Gamer Panda, who said this is one of the best goals I've ever seen. Well, I hope so. This is the Pushkas Award Show. Of course it's gonna be one of the best goals you've ever seen. Hit play. Okay, here we go. Oh, 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 that's just so nasty. Oh, it never hits the ground. I mean, honestly, there's questions to be asked to the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper makes this quite easy and is standing way out. I mean, easy is an overstatement, but that is just genius. Creativity, man. It's flowing. Our fifth semifinalist, Jasmine Two's submission from a building a nation save with Riga and Latvia. Is that a chip? That's a chip. I mean, this is just an this is, all, this is an experience and things I've never seen in Football Manager before. Oh, that's like that messy Griezmann edge of the box chip nonsense. Well, you could shoot it with power, but why, you know, why waste when less power do trick? We've already seen some amazing goals, but there are 10 more semi-finalists before we even get to the finalists before we even get to our winner. Next up, Diagonal Diagonal in a tight top four battle, less than 10 games left. Hector Fort, Aloni from Barcelona, comes in when the starting right back is hurt. Absolute scenes. Well, let's check out those scenes. Okay, headed away. Who's the, oh, oh, oh. Oh, that's from another area code. I mean, that's like 40 yards away on the volley. Oh, that's just disgusting. That's unbelievable. This is the best possible scenario when the entire stadium goes, like that, this is what they're hoping for. Our seventh semifinalist, a goal I'd actually seen before, this submission from Sam Fonseca, which was in the final of a European competition. He's the team in uh, green, by the way. I've seen this one. Oh yeah, do it. Dude, his reaction's the best. You can tell he's like, what is he doing? Oh, come on. And then it goes in. Marcus Edwards, 32 goals in a season for Marcus Edwards, and you do that in a European final. That's, it's, that's, that's crazy. And, and again, never seen anything that looked like that in Football Manager before. Entirely unique goal. As somebody that has now seen a ton of goals. And if you like unique goals, this next semifinalist from Andres Prim, it's right up your alley. That's illegal. I like having watched so much football manager. This shows this almost feels not on purpose. The keeper's coming out to close him down, and he first touches it. Just oh, 
Against goal scoring like that, you're going to need some serious protection. That's why the official sponsor of the FM Pushkiss Award is NordVPN. If you don't know what NordVPN is, it's a very easy to use virtual private network service that protects your identity while you're working online. And I cannot emphasize enough how intimidating this might sound, but how easy it is to use. You literally just click from this drop down or click somewhere on this world map on one of the dots, and then you are able to route your internet traffic through that point in the world, making it much harder for people to pick up on. And this kind of protection gets more and more important as the world becomes more and more online. So if you're going to learn how to use a VPN, now might be the time because NordVPN has a great deal for you in the top of the description. You get an exclusive price off a two-year deal plus an additional four months free. It's already super cheap and then you get four months free. And if for whatever unknown reason you happen to get it and not like it, well, you do have a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if that incredibly low price still just doesn't happen to work out for you, then you just give it back. No cost to you at all. But I use it on all my devices and it keeps me safe. Thank you to NordVPN for sponsoring the Football Manager Puskas Award. Now for more semi-finalists. Our next submission is from Blick. Blick Let's see what we got. All right, are we countering? We're countering. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's so clean. Just chests it up, rips the volley top corner. Oh, that that is just, that is perfect. Who needs a right foot? Not that guy. Next is from Uzax, who says, Le deux de frères Turam. The Turam brothers duo. Uh, uh, that's uh, what I thought it said. Deep free kick position. Oh! Oh! Now that! That is something worthy of being on this. The angle too, like there are a lot of bicycle kicks in these submissions, but the angle on this, he goes near post. Look at where the goalkeeper is when he shoots this. Oh my goodness. That's just a perfect hit. Our next semi-finalist submission from CFC Bent. Okay, cursor in the middle. Oh, oh. <laughs> What in the Luka Modric is this? He picks the ball up way in his own half, just runs all the way down, 30-yard Travella. Is this FIFA? Are we playing EAFC right now? Look, if you ask me, have I ever seen a Travella goal before that one in Football Manager? Like an actually good outside? I, I, I don't think I have. We're at our last four semifinalists for this award, and next up is Lee's submission. All right, here we go. This match is 7-0, so this has got to be absolutely bonkers. That's not even his pass. This bicycle kick is technically a steal. This is a clearance, a terrible one. And then he's like, yeah, pfft, got it. If you score this in your save, it's the best football manager goal you've ever scored. Unless you're in this video, basically, no question. That's insane. Next is from Gonzalo Martins, the DFB poke call against RB Leipzig. Beautiful play and then Schick, the big check. Let's see what we got, Schick. Oh, oh! Oh, first time chip vol. I mean, the keeper is at sea here, but a first time chipped volley with the defender all over you. Just to see this opportunity is incredible. Take a bow, son. Take a bow. That's getting on any list, but not among the finalists. Two more semi-finalists to go. Asher's submission. Ginger Asher. So a deep free kick. Is this bouncing out? Oh, you know. Oh, oh. Oh, the technique on that. You can see it in the game. He swings his leg, just hydroplanes that ball into the back of the net. Oh, that, I mean, that's for like 40 yards away. That's basically the opposite foot of the goal we saw earlier. And both of those goals made the semifinals. The last semifinalist submission, the one that was closest to being a finalist, submitted by Big Man on campus. What do we have? Oh, oh, oh my. This is impossible. I mean, it's not impossible, but it's like the chip comes from here. This guy's running in at the top of the box, spins around, times it up perfectly. Dude, what? That's nuts. That's absolutely insane. But it was not good enough to make the top five of the Football Manager Pushkiss Award. And these five goals will be the best goals you've ever seen on Football Manager. And we start with Shane Hodnett's submission. Look, there have not been a lot of majestic runs, but this is the majestic run of them all. Wait, hold on. So he said Lawrence McGuire. Does that mean this is the guy that scores the goal? The left back who basically just starts running from left back. Not an advanced left back, just starts running from here. Okay, here we go. One. Oh, four guys. You leap. No. 
this, I mean, this is, this is absurd. He takes, he, he takes four guys out of the equation. And instead of keeping the run going, he goes for it from like 40 yards away and scores. I mean, that's just a mic drop. Most unnecessarily long shot. He can just carry it up the wing and create a good chance for the team. But he's like, you know what? I just dribbled through four guys. We're having a pop here, lads. And he has a pop. And you know what? It went in. That was certainly the best deep run, but it wasn't good enough to win the entire thing. Next up, pure skill. No luck from Team A, De Jong, Van Dyke. I'm assuming Virgil. Ooh, with the shake, with the shimmy. Oh, it's a Roberto Carlos with a, with a juke move. He shakes this guy out of his shoes and then does a Roberto Carlos over the top of the keeper into the back corner. Oh, this is, this is better than the Roberto Carlos goal because the Roberto Carlos goal catches the keeper off the line. This guy has to create the space to do it with a great move and then puts it over the keeper into the back corner. I, it, it, <laughs> Haters will say this wasn't intentional, but there's only one dude in the box and he's nowhere near him. That's intentional in my book. Oh, and it went off the post. It went off the post and in too. Like, of course it went off the post and in. The next finalist, a submission from Brogan M. My 19-year-old Brazilian right back. No volley there. Okay. It's like a longer highlight. And away. Oh, oh, come on. Dude. That might be the best looking volley I've ever seen in Football Manager. I mean, that's a Thunder Bastard. If you're ever going to define anything as a Thunder Bastard, this is it. I mean, this is a wild swing. That's just absolutely perfect. Look at the speed of this. First goal of the season. Of course. Shout out to our console brothers as well. This guy's playing on console. Respect. And the final finalist that didn't win the Football Manager Puskas Award? Right here from Richard Johnstone. The greatest goal I've ever seen on FM. Brenori, Palermo legend. Well, let's see it, dude. Let's check it out. Uh, okay. Yeah, I was like, that would probably be disappointing. Goalkeeper distribution. Where are we going? We're going deep. No. the defender all over him from one box to the back of the net and the other side this is like th this is robin van Persie. this is a robin van Persie goal right here balls in the air you're thinking your team isn't even gonna get it he takes it down like in stride with the defender barely like, he volleys this basically off the defender's hip that's the goal of a lifetime now, i know there's gonna be a lot of debate we've seen a lot of of absolutely amazing goals. And there were even more amazing goals that we had to cut. If you wanna see all of those, you can check out the entire thread on Twitter. There's a stupid number of amazing goals. And if you wanna be in one of these videos in the future, follow the Twitter or the, the X, sorry, the X. But out of all of them, out of every single one of those submissions, there was one that stood alone, a goal so impressive, so perfectly placed that it had to win the Football Manager Pushkas Award. And it was submitted by call and scored by Indrik. All right, it's a free kick from Zakarian. Headed out. What? What? This is cleared away. It bounces. He goes into a bike. And not only does he bike it, this isn't just a dime a dozen bicycle kick even from outside the box. This is top corner. The angle with the defender in his face. How, how does Stiller not block this? He's not outside the box. He's past the bubble on the top of the box. And he's running the opposite direction. And he has to create all the power and all of the angle on the border of physically impossible in real life. What Indrik has just done here. I'm just going to watch it one more time. We've seen multiple goals in this situation where somebody runs in and volleys it, but not that. Never that. And of course, that's the goal that brought home the FM push kiss for Hendrik and for Ka. You'll be getting a little trophy in the mail. If you had a different goal that you like better, of course, I look forward to seeing you in the comments. But you can't disagree with the fact that that Hendrik goal, whew, it's hot. Hot. Oh, hey, how you doing? Uh, if you like this video, subscribe to the channel. If you want to keep binge watching videos, uh, here's one about, well, New York City and football and soccer. It's cool. It's probably the best video we've ever made, so check it out.